So what does it cost to live in Vancouver, Washington? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hi, I'm Cassandra Marks, also known as Realtor Cass. I am a licensed realtor here in Southwest Washington. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about how much it costs to live in Vancouver, Washington. If you're thinking about moving to the area, you obviously want to know how much it costs to live here. And uh, let's just not keep you waiting. Let's just jump right into this and get to the number I know that you're dying to know. If you are married with children, you are looking to need about $109,000 just to cover the basics. Oh, are you kidding me? I am not going to cover all the expenditures in this video, but I will put a link down below in the description so that you can see some more information of cost of goods and services around the area. All right, so let's just dive right in. Um, Q4 2022, the projected median home price is supposed to be around $525,000. And what does that mean for a mortgage? Well, if you were to get a 30 year fixed rate conventional mortgage with 5% down, assuming you have a good credit score and would get an interest rate around 6.75, maybe 7%, you're looking at about a $3,900 a month payment. And that includes taxes and insurance and PMI. That seems like a lot, but there are more budget conscious homes as well. If you're not looking to purchase, according to rent.com, a two bed, two bath apartment will run you about $1,950 a month and a three bed, two bath, single family home will cost you roughly around $2,600 a month. So if you're coming into the area and trying to figure out where you wanna live or just figure out if Vancouver's for you, maybe renting's a good way to start. So the people that are gung ho about living in Vancouver, one benefit to living and working in Washington is we have absolutely no income tax. Did you hear me? I said no income tax. That's pretty awesome. But you gotta keep in mind, if you do happen to commute to Portland for work, they're gonna get you and they're gonna tax your income. So if you can work remotely or maybe just find a company that's on the Washington side of the river, you will see potentially a 10% raise. And who doesn't love a raise? So next up, let's talk about sales tax. Yes, Washington doesn't have income tax, but they do have sales tax. And it ranges anywhere from 77 to 8.5%. But let me give you a little hack. Guess who doesn't have sales tax? To the South. Oregon does not have sales tax. So if you're gonna make a large purchase, what a lot of people do is they jump in their cars and drive over the river and make their purchase in Oregon and come back. And now we have the ever dreaded property taxes. And typically they are 0.8 to 1% of your assessed value. And they go, you know, they, they differ depending upon what school district you're in, what city, what jurisdiction. But Keep in mind that the $3,900 payment that I spoke about earlier on your mortgage did include these taxes. Another expense that you're going to face while living in Vancouver, Washington, obviously is utilities. And in Clark County, we're looking at about 8.5 cents per kilowatt hour. And what that equates to is, you know, I've got a 2,200 square foot home and a few outbuildings and typically our bill is anywhere from about 110 to 200 dollars a month and just kind of depends what time of year it is but what i will say is that our electricity rates are about 35 percent less than the national average because of how much hydrological hydrological oh my god hydroelectric power that we use here in clark county the next utility that you're going to probably have is natural gas and typically it's around $1.05 a unit and a home that has a gas fireplace, a gas water heater, a gas furnace and probably a gas stove is going to see a bill anywhere between $40 and $100 per month. 
And probably the last utility that you're all wondering about is obviously internet and cable because we can't live without that. And the three main providers here are, well, four, are uh, Xfinity, CenturyLink, you're gonna have Dish, and then you'll also possibly have Starlink. And we see prices, if you're doing just internet, it's probably 70 to $100. If you're doing a bundle with cable, um, it's probably anywhere from about 150 to $200. The second to last expenditure I'm gonna talk about is obviously food. And going out to eat has gotten a little bit expensive in 2022, if you didn't uh, catch that. And a dinner for two uh, with no adult beverages is gonna cost you around $50 plus tax and tip. Typically we're seeing 15 to $18 for an entree and about $10 per appetizer. If you like to indulge in the adult beverages, you're gonna see beer at about $8, a glass of wine around 10, a margarita, 12, and a whiskey drink about 15. And last but not least, I get a lot of questions about transportation. And honestly, in Southwest Washington, there's really not an abundance of bus service. It's not super duper bike friendly. There are trails around mountain biking and road biking, but it's not anything remotely close to what Portland has. It's not super walkable. So most people in the area do choose to drive a car. And right now, gas is ranging about the $4 mark per gallon. I hope this short list gives you a better idea of costs associated with living in Vancouver, Washington. If you've got any further questions, please leave them in the comments below or reach out to me. Um, all my contact information is in the description below. Otherwise, if you like this video, uh, please hit subscribe and then ding the little bell so that you don't miss out on any more content coming from me about Vancouver, Washington, because I'd hate for you to miss out on how wonderful our city is. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a lovely day.